Maybe I have a new attitude for those who don't like snakes. And that is, you know, snakes are awesome. Deal with it. stack of one day paintings that were just crowd pleasers really just a lot of them were bright and cheery and well at the start they started out very bright and cheery and then they started getting a bit darker uh, probably just my fatigue and tiredness worn on but I sort of felt like I wanted to really just do something I want to do I mean, a lot of the wildlife, yeah, I didn't want to do that wildlife, and got sort of sugarcoating it. And I've probably done that, a lot of that with my snake art. Probably tried to sugarcoat it a bit, try and make people like the snakes. And at the end of the day, either people just don't like snakes or I'm t preaching to the converted. So I thought, bugger it. No more sugar coating. People are going to be afraid of snakes. I'll oh, make them really afraid of snakes. Well, maybe not, but I just felt like just doing some artwork that I just want to do. And this one here was going to be in the famous snake exhibition. Uh, it's another Salvador Dali based on the temptation of Saint Anthony. But this one's going to be probably just called Temptation of a Herpetologist. There's the lighting up there. There we go. It's a few dark this time of year. In the past I've tried to uh, I guess sugarcoat the whole snake thing. I've done them in these pretty Celtic knots. I've done snakes and medusas with butterflies floating around. I'm just trying to present them in a way that's really acceptable for people trying to win over people. But some people are always going to hate snakes. No matter what you do, you still get this uh, sort of thing where people go, oh, it's, yeah, I can't even go near your exhibition. So I guess the point where I go, stuff it. I think I have a new attitude for those who don't like snakes. And that is, you know, snakes are awesome. Deal with it. show I've got some very interesting comments. Uh, most people come up and thought, oh I hate it but it's really good but I don't like it but it's really good and I love seeing that confusion between you know they, they think it's really good and yet they hate it so I mean in that way it's a success. Somebody else came up to me and said oh it's War of the Worlds so I thought no it's Salvador Dali's Temptation of St. Anthony and I thought, hang on, I really used to love this uh, record in the 70s, War of the Worlds, wonderful music, and this artwork. And I realised that this artist has paid homage to Salvador Dali, in that the uh, priest is exactly like St. Anthony. Okay, he's one of the first temptations. Whereas Dali has a naked lady there to tempt St. Anthony, the herpetologist, what we have here is a snake lady. Whereas the herpetologist here is more interested in what sort of a person the lady is. Not so much that she's sexy, but I'm sure that helps. But in this case, 
the herpetologist is wanting to have a relationship with somebody who's like-minded, like a girl who likes snakes. Books, whereas Salvador Dali's got gold to tempt the saint, uh, here we've got books, books, knowledge, the hunger, the almost greed for knowledge that a lot of herpetologists have, they'll just devour books, they want to find out as much as they can about snakes, lizards, reptiles, um, so that indicates the temptation of knowledge.